Let's practice some more formulas and conditional logic here in Excel 2013. You can download this file from strv.ms forward slash 1d2 capital T capital J T R. So we see these very powerful people here, each with varying swag points and of different gender. And our challenge is to fill in some of these blanks here. Let's begin by finding the, the maximum swag points. I'm going to type in this formula equals max returns the largest value in a set of values. We could also choose min, which returns the smallest or minimum number. Let's find the max of click and drag these numbers here. Press enter. And we can see that the highest value, the coolest person is a Vladimir. What about the average? I'm going to type in equals average bracket click and drag not this range here let me press escape equals average of these numbers here I want to find the average of the swipe points so the average would be 86.7 now let's practice using the count if formula so I'm going to move my mouse to the cell click on it I'm going to type in equals count if and the range would be these numbers I'm interested in counting this range here comma the criteria is going to be within double quotes we will say greater or equals to 90 if I just want greater I would get rid of the equal sign so double quote greater than Pac-Man faces to the left greater than or equals to 90 double quote and you can have a close bracket there press enter so what's happening here is the number of items, the number of people here who have a swag greater or equal to 90 is four. There are four different people. That's what COUNTIF is about. In the same way, we can even count the number of males. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to type in equals COUNTIF. The range would be the actual genders, male or female. And then I'm going to type in comma, even though I can't see that cell. I can look up here in the formula bar and the criteria is going to be within double quotes it's going to be f so this is male or female or m depending on which gender you want so right now we're counting the total number of males so let's just click on capital m double quote and close bracket enter so it's saying that the number of males is five and it's wonderful how if someone gets a sex change from female to male, the number changes accordingly. So let me just change that back to F. Can we actually use formulas to automatically calculate the total females who are getting over greater or equal to 90? And this is where if you have multiple criteria, we're going to use plural count ifs equals count ifs with an S bracket so we have this count if formula and the criteria range one would be i'm going to look here at the genders we want female and a plus greater or equal to 90. so i'm just going to click here on the formula bar to continue so i can see it so the criteria is going to be f as in female comma criteria range two we also want another criteria the second criteria will be dealing with the actual swag points. So I'm going to highlight this. That's the range, comma. The actual criteria is going to be greater or equals to 90. We can also choose less than some amount, but we'll focus on greater than or equals to 90 for now. And of course, if you want to have a third criteria or a fourth criteria, etc., you could do so by separating commas. But this is enough for now. We have females greater or equal to 90. Press enter. And according to this, Excel computed that there are two females who have extreme swag. And if I manually double check this, it's going to be the females would be Angela at 97 and Dilma at 90. Vladimir here has lots of swag, but he's a male. So this here is working wonderfully. 
the logic here is quite similar for some if or some ifs or average if or average ifs so let's just try these let's find the the sum rather than just counting the actual sum if they're greater than 90 for swipe points so I'm gonna type in equals sum if bracket the range would be the swipe points comma and the criteria you can see here it's bolded it's gonna be greater or equals to 90 double quote enter and what's happening here is whatever numbers are gr greater than or equal to 90 it's gonna sum them that's what's happening here can we sum if it's a male can we add up all the males I'm gonna click in this box here I'm gonna type in equals sum if bracket the range we're focusing on males so I'm gonna look at the gender here I'm gonna highlight this gender comma the criteria here is going to be M within double quotes and this is interesting how we're not just highlighting the numbers you can't really add letters but this optional parameter here was within the square brackets the square brackets means it's optional if we want to sum numbers other than what we're highlighting we can't really add letters so I am going to choose this optional thing to sum which is comma the sum range would be these numbers so it's amazing how we can focus on this as the condition but here these are the numbers we're adding I'm going to close this bracket press enter and see what happens so it's amazing that based off uh, us having a male it's going to add the, the uh, swipe points that's what's happening with the sum ifs what if we want to have multiple criteria can we find the total sum of the really cool females only I'm going to type in equals sum ifs bracket we have the sum range and the sum range here is going to be the numbers we want to add so it's these numbers here comma criteria range one so first I want to focus on the females only so I'm gonna highlight this criteria range gender comma criteria one the specific criteria want is females only so that's going to be double quotes with an F comma criteria range two is going to be these swipe points the swipe points here comma has to be the criteria two is going to be greater than or equals to 90 very cool females only double quote comma and you can see we can go on with additional criteria but that's good enough for me I'm gonna close that bracket and press enter and so what we're doing here is we're adding the total swag of all the really cool females only and you try this yourself with average if and average ifs so it's great how Excel can count items and some items based off a certain criteria. In fact, you can have multiple criteria.